welcome back guys uh, so today we're gonna discuss stability alright so stability is uh, generally divided into two parts that is static and dynamic alright static dynamic okay and static is further divided into three parts that is stable unstable and neutral similarly dynamic is also divided into three parts that is stable unstable and neutral along this video we'll be discussing what these three terms in each division mean okay so let's start with what is exactly stability okay so stability it's a simple english term basically it is the tendency of the aircraft to return to its steady state of flight flight without any help from the pilot after being disturbed by an external force seems like a long definition deficient deficient isn't it so basically it's it's simple stability is the ability of the aircraft the tendency of the aircraft to return back to its original position if an external force like say turbulence etc is applied to it the aircraft's tendency to come back to the original position is called stability so stability has uh, the f the aircraft should have the following qualities and aircraft should have following qualities all right advocates stability this is to maintain a uniform fair condition basically it is expected that the aircraft advocates stability okay and the aircraft should be able to recover from various disturbing forces like wind turbulence etc and the aircraft should be sufficient sufficiently stable to minimize the workload of the pilot so a uh, stable aircraft is a better aircraft so because it uh, reduces the workload on the pilot and the pilot doesn't have to fight with the controls and everything to maintain stability okay so now we'll discuss the three types of stability that we discussed under static stability okay so that is positive static stability okay so this is basically stable static static stability okay so what this says is if an aircraft is disturbed from an <coughs> equilibrium then it has tendency to return to the equilibrium the easiest example i'll draw here is 
suppose you take a bowl okay so you take a bowl and you drop a circular figure a ball or something so the initially the ball has been disturbed from the equilibrium it was here okay the ball has been disturbed here so the ball will move all the way here and then it will come here and it will come back to the original position so this is positive static stability if disturbed from the equilibrium it has a tendency to return to the equilibrium so it is called positive static stability all right so next is neutral static stability neutral static stability all right now this states that if an aircraft is subject to disturbance and then has neither the tendency to return nor to continue in the displaced direction all right so this uh, we can understand by a normal surface suppose a ball is there and a displacing force is applied so the ball will move here so neither it has a tendency to come back nor it is continuing in the displaced direction so this is called neutral static stability okay so next we'll go on to statically unstable okay negative static stability okay this is basically unstable the previous was stable and neutral and this is unstable okay so if an aircraft has a tendency to continue in the direction of the disturbance it is negative static stability okay example is just the reverse of positive static stability so you place the bowl upside down keep a ball here and when if you push it whether either this side or that side the ball will continue to move in this direction and it will never come back obviously so this is called negative static stability and the aircraft is said to be unstable one key point here to be noted is a statically unstable aircraft a statically unstable aircraft is always dynamically unstable okay so a statically unstable aircraft is always dynamically unstable all right so now we'll move on to dynamic stability dynamic stability so an aircraft which is statically stable while correcting itself after a disturbing force has been removed may over overshoot its equilibrium position and then correct itself that is what is dynamic stability so what happens is so let's discuss with dynamic stable aircraft okay stable aircraft what happens is so the example here i'll give is suppose an aircraft has been given a disturbance it continues in that direction for some time and then tries to come back to the equilibrium and then again overshoots and then again then it gradually dampens so this is dynamic stability all right so just i'll write the definition so that it's easier to understand the oscillation that sets in after it has 
overshot its original equilibrium and gradually dampens so this was the equilibrium it has been given a disturbance and it continues but it crosses and overshoots the equilibrium and then tries to come back but again it just and it gradually dampens so this is dynamic stability okay now we have dynamic unstable so when the oscillation that sets in after a disturbance continues to either increase in amplitude or continue that direction is dynamically unstable so for example if you have a disturbance set in it will continue in that direction or you'll have something like that keeps on increasing in amplitude okay so then the aircraft is said to be dynamically unstable then the last one we have is dynamically neutral when the oscillations persist without increase or decrease in amplitude it is said to be dynamically neutral so for example if you have set in a disturbance it will just stay a character constant amplitude without increasing or decreasing in the amplitude okay so the next thing that we are going to do is stability the types of stability okay so lateral stability involves motion about longitudinal axis this is called roll okay lateral stability involves motion about longitudinal axis longitudinal stability involves motion about lateral axis this is called pitching okay longitudinal stability involves motion about the lateral axis this is pitching and directional stability involves motion about normal axis or the vertical axis basically this is yeah yaw all right so now there's something there's a concept called static margin this is concept called static margin okay so it is the distance between the cg forward and cg neutral okay this is called your static margin distance between cg forward and cg neutral is your static margin so or this it's also called as cg margin or your reference margin so the greater the static margin the greater is the longitudinal stability greater static margin greater longitudinal stability why because this will give you more range margin for improving your longitudinal stability okay so i'll just draw a diagram that will just clarify your static margin
okay so this is your forward CG aft CG limit and this is your neutral point okay so the whole this is your neutral this is your aft and this is your forward limit so this whole thing is your static margin now there is something the concept called required minimum static stability margin and it is the distance between this aft and neutral point this is called required minimum static stability margin okay so the dis distance between forward and neutral is static margin but the distance between aft and neutral is called your required minimum static stability margin important questions come on the distance between which because it's confusing but the diagram I hope has made it easier to understand and remember next is controllability controllability this is the ability of the aircraft to respond to control surface displacement and achieve the desired condition of flight so it is the ability of the aircraft to respond to control surfaces so if you have a higher stability the controllability of the aircraft is reduced because this aircraft is very stable any disturbance will get it back to its original condition of flight so hence it is tough to control so higher stability higher stability means reduced controllability controllability this is very important often confused but this means if the aircraft is too stable it is tough to control it okay few important points if CG moves forward static longitudinal stability CG is obviously related to longitudinal stability increases and the controllability decreases okay because as I mentioned CG uh, stability increases your controllability decreases and the stick forces increases okay and the opposite cases CG moves aft stability decreases controllability increases stick forces increases all right sorry decreases okay so in the next uh, video i'm going to discuss uh, specifically longitudinal stability lateral stability and directional stability so keep watching like it share it if you like it bye bye see you guys